Chris Kreider is really cementing his place in New York Rangers history. Well, 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 welcome back to New York Sports Wicker Media. I'm Watsu K99. Thank you, as always, for taking the time to watch these videos. If you're brand new, welcome aboard. Please like and subscribe. If you're returning, welcome back. Please like. I appreciate your support. So, I want to talk a little New York Rangers hockey. Man, these first two games went about as well as you could have asked them to go if you are a fan of the New York Rangers. You know, the you know, Gerard Gallant really talked down experience and what role it has in a playoff series. But you can't deny, the New York Rangers look like a team that knows how to win in the playoffs. And the New Jersey Devils, while talented, are just too young, too green, too, you know, wet behind the ears to really know how to play these games. It's like they know one way to play, the Rangers have figured it out, and the Devils have not been able to adjust. And I think that's one of the biggest reasons why the Rangers are ahead in this series. Two games to none with the series going back to Madison Square Garden this weekend, and the Rangers have a chance to end this series in the Garden as well. I gotta say this, by the way, before we get to Chris Kreider, I am so happy Patrick Gain had his signature game as a Ranger. You know, I've been a fan of his for a lot of years when I was living in Chicago. Even though the Blackhawks aren't my team, I always enjoyed watching him play. And even though he had his points as a Ranger since he came over at the trade deadline, he hadn't really had his signature game. And I felt he really had that in game two, getting two assists and a beautiful backhand goal where he had a takeaway, you know, when the puck was in the Ranger zone, went right down the ice. It was a two on uh, one with Chris Kreider. Uh, Kane held on to the puck and lifted a backhand into the top of the net. Just a beautiful goal. And uh, that was the game. That was the fourth goal of the game. It made the score four one Rangers. It was really the dagger on the Devils' throat. So we'll see what happens going forward. But I want to give some praise to Chris Kreider and just take a moment and look at his legacy and what he's been doing so far and what he can do going forward. So he has now played 11 years with the New York Rangers. Okay, he's played 733 games as a Ranger. That's the 11th most all time. 31 years old, he's got four more years under contract, okay? So he could very realistically hit the 1,000 games played plateau, all right? He's at 733 games. That means he needs to play 267 more games. So over four years, that's about 67 games per season. That's about 80%. It is an absolutely reasonable expectation for Chris Kreider to hit the 1,000 games played with the New York Rangers milestone. Now, only three Rangers have ever hit that mark. And this is a franchise that's been around nearly a century. Only three Rangers have done that. Harry Howell, Brian Leach, and Rod Gilbert, all of whom had their numbers retired. And as I look at that, I think Chris Kreider is about 99% sure at this point alone to get number 20 race to the rafters at Madison Square Garden. And if the Rangers win a Stanley Cup, I think it's gonna be a lock. Now, if we look at points, uh, he's got 477, that's just outside the Rangers' top 10. He's fifth in goals as a New York Ranger during the regular season. He's currently seven goals behind Andy Bathgate. He's 15 behind Adam Graves. Uh, Kreider has 265. Now the all-time record holder is Rod Gilbert with 406. That's going to be pretty difficult to, to get to. Basically, Kreider would have to average about 35 goals a season for the next four years. Now. Uh, the interesting thing is, Kreider was always scoring about 20 to 25 goals a season up until two years ago. Okay, Then he had his 52-goal season. This year he uh, hit the 30 mark. So if he could keep that pace up, maybe he can give Gilbert a run for his money. It's going to be very interesting to watch over the next couple of years. But he also broke the record for the most Rangers goals in the playoffs all time. He now has 38. Rod Gilbert held the record with 35. And who knows, that, that mark could go into the 50s, into the 60s. I mean, who knows how much higher that mark is going to go. Because, you know, Kreider has scored power play goals, two power play goals in each of these first two games. I believe he is only the fourth player in Rangers history to do that. So it seems as though as he's hit his 30s, he's really put it all together. He's figured out how to become a great power forward. And, uh, the, and you know, that contract extension the Rangers signed him to a couple of years ago 
where he is making about six and a quarter million dollars a year is looking like an absolute steal, a steal. But a couple of other marks, he is eighth on the Rangers all time in plus minus with a plus 107, fifth in power play goals with 92. I'm, he is going to shatter that record. He's going to shatter it. Now, if this would be a good trivia question for uh, New York Rangers fans. What Ranger holds the record for most all-time power play goals? You know, a lot of people might think Vic Hatfield. They might think Roger Bear, Andy Bathgate, Adam Graves. It's actually Camille Henry. Yep, old-timer Camille Henry with 116. And uh, Chris Kreider is only 24 goals behind that. I mean, do you think Chris Kreider is going to average at least six power play goals a season for the next four years? I certainly do. So that is going to be another record that he may well shatter. And, you know, the more he quietly, very quietly, but very surely climbs his way up these Rangers uh, record, record boards, you know, it looks very, very likely in my mind that number 20 is going to go to the Raptors alongside Messier, Leach, Graves, Richter, Gilbert, Jockerman. I, I really think it's going to be uh, inevitable at this point. Well, those are my thoughts, but now I want to see your comments. Put them right there in the uh, space below. Do you think that Chris Kreider is going to get his jersey retired as a New York Ranger? And also, do you think that the New Jersey Devils can climb back into the series? They got to win four of the next five games, and at least, and three of them are going to be at Madison Square Garden. It's going to be no easy task. Well, thanks everybody for watching. This is Watch UK 99. Again, please like and subscribe to New York Sports at Wicker Media. I'll see you right back here with more content from you know where. The Wicker Chair.